guys. Just dropping in to say hello. And to say, by the grace of God, I'm clean and sober another day. So, actually, you know, I've been clean since around Christmas time, technically. But, my Vyvanse and my ADHD meds, that was within the last three weeks or so. So, anyway, I won't lie to you. Right now, yeah, I'm pretty depressed. But, you know what? It is what it is. I'm pretty sure I just lost a friend while trying to make amends with them. I won't get into the details about what was said, but basically, people aren't going to trust me right away. And you know what? I wouldn't trust me right away either. So, do what you think is best. If you want to walk away from my life because I've caused you too much pain, then I'll open the door for you, and I'll say God bless you as you leave. But make no mistake, it will hurt, but I'll be okay. So, that being said, I had a good day in church today, actually. And the same thing happened with somebody at my church as well. And another longtime friend of mine that I've known since I was 16, when I was freshly diagnosed with diabetes. In fact, they helped save my life from diabetes. This was way before I became addicted to anything, before I messed around with anything. And... That friend, when I said literally, hey old friend, it's been a long time, how are you? Their response was blocking me. I'm finding it very hard right now to have courage. And I'm honestly very depressed because it fucking hurts. But you know what? I made my bed and I need to lie in it. So, I can't change how you guys feel. I won't try. It's not my place to do so. But for the record, in my defense, if you cannot see with your own two eyes, and you're here with your own two ears, that I'm not the same person anymore, then with all due respect, you need to change your glasses, my friend. And I'm not saying my friend at any one person. I'm saying it to everybody. If you can't see and hear and feel that there's something different about me, then you know what? Maybe you're too narrow-minded. But on the other hand, you're also right for not trusting me right away because trust takes time. Trust can take years to earn and it can take seconds to lose. And when you're an addict, you should expect that. So, um, <clears throat> I haven't been doing as many videos lately because I've been working on my newer song called If Sorrow had a sound. I'm almost finished with it, and when I'm done with it, I'm gonna present it on YouTube and on Instagram. So, in case you all were wondering where I've been, for those of you who do watch my videos, that's where. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I might just take a hiatus from YouTube for a few days because I need time to reflect. I need time to process what's happening in my life because everything has changed and frankly I'm freaking out because I'm not used to change. I went from being so helplessly addicted to drugs to being I mean, so helpless with them that I was praying for death. 
I was waiting to die. You understand that? Do you know what that means? Deep down I knew I couldn't stop. And I was praying for death. So, I went from that to being this now. So this is going to take a bit of adjusting for me too. You guys aren't the only ones who don't trust me right away. I don't trust me, frankly. And honestly, after the last couple days, I feel defeated. I really do. And I just don't know if I can keep posting all this stuff because it's getting harder and harder to stay positive because I'm finding more and more damage that I caused as time goes by. And the more I try to pick up the pieces, the further they fall away. So I'm at a crossroads. Do I keep trying to make amends or do I just live my life and just forget this whole trying to make a difference thing? and trying to make things right. I really don't know what to do at the moment. Hence why I'm doing this video. Hence why I f am beside myself right now. Um, it's a bitter pill to swallow. I'll be honest. And I really thought that more people would see a difference in me. My own mother today told me she was proud of me. Do you have any idea how long I have wanted to hear those words? No, you don't. Because you're not me. You haven't walked in my shoes. You haven't lived my life. You don't know. My dad is finally starting to come around. I can see it in his eyes. I know in my heart that I'm doing the right thing. And I know in my heart that I mean every word that I say. And I don't blame you all for doubting anything that comes out of my mouth. It's your choice. Go ahead, doubt me. Be a doubting Thomas. But frankly, whatever. With some of you, I've done everything that I can, and then some. Some of you, I'm too scared to even approach because I'm ashamed and I'm guilty as hell. And you know what? I know there's some of you out there that will say, quit your whining, quit belly aching, and suck it up like a man. You know what? I wasn't raised like you. I was raised to let my feelings show. I was raised with the mindset, growing men cry. And the whole saying, grown men don't cry, you're full of crap. I have feelings just like all of you do. And I can't believe I'm going to quote, quote Shakespeare, I think it is, but you prick my finger, do I not bleed just like you? I'm not trying to take away from what I've done. However, I am trying to make you stop and think. Before you go and slam that door in my face, at least hear me out, please. Before you go and inadvertently and unknowingly rub in everything that I've done, let me tell my side of it first. Let me try and speak. Because this is hard enough as it is without people making it harder to make amends. And there are some people in this world that when you try to make amends with them, they make it almost impossible to do so. Like when you go to apologize and with words they slap you across your face. I expect that from everybody. I really do because I have it coming. But it doesn't mean it hurts any less and it doesn't mean it doesn't make it harder. So before you go and condemn somebody for their actions, at least give them benefit of the doubt and listen to what they have to say. Otherwise, you know what? What is the point in forgiveness? if you don't even make an attempt at at least hearing the other person out. So, yeah, I admit I'm a bit upset right now. 
my mind is spinning and my whole world has been flipped upside down and I'm not used to change like this. I never have been and I've never handled it well. So by the grace of God, I'm still clean and sober. That's going to be it for now, guys. Good night. God bless you. You are loved and you're important. Do not ever forget that. Because the moment you do will be the moment you deny yourself. Good night.